Over here on the left hand side, below classrooms, we have something called scenes. If you click on scenes, you see I have several scenes in here that I've already created. I'm going to add a scene up here in the top right hand corner. And scenes let you create a list of rules for a classroom session to restrict your students web usage. So you can stop them from using websites that you don't want them to be on. There are two ways you can do this. There's an allow mode, which is what you want. And then there is block mode. Allow mode says all websites will be allowed except for the ones that you put in this block site. Block mode is the opposite. Block mode blocks all websites except for the ones that you allow. Unfortunately, because um, many of the services we use, Google Suite, Clever, Achieve 3000, Smarty Ants, use lots of behind the scene things on the internet, using block mode breaks students' browsing abilities. So don't use block mode, use allow mode. Uh, a good example of a website that I would not want in here would be something like coolmathgames.com. Using that all the time. Sometimes I might want them. So I'm going to add that one right here. Uh, another one that I might not want them to be on is um, NitroType. Maybe that's a reward I want them to work towards. I don't want them to spend all day on NitroType. I can click add that right there. ABCYA has lots of useful things, but it also has lots of things that students can just play games all day long when they should be working. So I'm going to have that as a block. I'm going to create a name. You need to have a name for this scene. So I'm going to call it example scene training. You don't have to have a description, but sometimes it's helpful. Um, normally I wouldn't do this example scene because I have cool math games, Niger type and ABCYA blocked. I might call this instead of example. I might say Nitro CMG ABC. Now I know with one click, which websites I'm going to block. You can name this whatever you want, but I find that's easiest to go. Uh, as you experience this and see what students are most um, act accessing most often that you don't want them accessing, uh, you can always come back later and add more websites down there. Make sure you save the scene right up here. I'm going to go back to this. I'm going to click on it one more time. And down here, something called tab management. So if you have a specific number of tabs or websites that you want opened every time the students log in, you can add those right here. And every time a student logs in, all of those tabs will be opened. You can also, if you have students who like to open 7,000 tabs, you can prevent them. You can say, all right, you can only have four tabs open at one time. It's not necessary to put either of those, but if you find it makes your life easier as a teacher, feel free to use some of those. So I'm going to click Update Scene. All right, so I'm going to go back to my classroom. I'm going to click on Settings. And I'm going to go right here to Default Scene. Do you see that right there? If I click on this, I now have my Nitro CMG ABC block that I just made. Now, if I click this, and update my classroom. Now, anytime my auto scheduling that I made, anytime that happens, then this scene will be applied to my classroom. So if I go back to my live session, the one I just started, because I started this session without a scene, and up here in the corner it tells me no scene is applied, I can click on this and I can go Nitro CMG ABC block, click on that. So that's my new scene. So we see his screen right there. What happens if he tries to go to nitro type? Let's see. We'll make this bigger. He gets a little screen that says, hey there, it looks like you've reached a website your teacher doesn't want you to browse right now. 
if your teacher made a mistake, let your teacher know. Now the student could come up here in the corner and type, hey, I finished all of my work. I want to spend some time on Nitro type. If that was true and I wanted to let him do that, I could come down here right here and exclude student from the session. Or I can come up here to the top, change this, and remove the scene. If you remove a student from the session using this exclude student, you would no longer have access to anything they are doing. It's essentially turning off GoGuardian for their computer. So that uh, might not be the best thing if you want to continue for, to them continue to allow them to have chat abilities with you. Um, but if you want to turn off any scenes and you don't want to see them on GoGuardian for the rest of the day, you can click on that and it will exclude them from GoGuardian. I'm going to turn this scene off. And you can see now that I've turned it off, his screen, he's able to load into NitroType right there. 